Welcome to 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. By the mid-1780s, acts of violence protesting the poor economic conditions for American farmers had become commonplace. Farmers had borrowed money to raise crops to support the high demand during the Revolutionary War. After the war, however, the demand for these crops decreased, and farmers who could not pay their debts had their land seized or were thrown into prison. One demand of the people in debt was that the states issue paper currency for payment of debts, since there was an acute shortage of gold and silver coins. In Exeter, New Hampshire, in September 1786, farmers surrounded the state legislature and demanded that debt be canceled and paper currency issued. Elsewhere, farmers burned down courthouses. Most of these uprisings were sooner or later defeated. But the new nation's most prominent leaders were very concerned at the government's inability to deal with a growing disorder. The lack of a sufficiently powerful central government was apparent to leaders such as George Washington and James Madison. It was a principal reason that Madison and others called for a meeting in Annapolis, Maryland in September 1786 to remedy defects of the federal government. That's all for today's podcast, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute.